Hi everyone, welcome to another videos for question and answer session. And question solve is one of the best way to prepare yourself uh, to get better marks in MRCS exam. So here is the question. First of all, read the question very carefully. A 34 years old male is shot in the posterior inferior aspect of the thigh. Which of the following lies at the most lateral aspect of the popliteal fossa? So after careful reading, now we have to find out the key points to which we can answer the question very easily. So here, a 34 years old man in, is shot in the posterior inferior aspect of the thigh. That means in the posterior part of the thigh and lower part of the thigh. That means very close to the popliteal fossa. Which of the following lies at the most lateral aspect of the popliteal fossa? So our key point is here. That means most lateral aspect of popliteal fossa, which structure is located. So first of all, we have to uh, know about details about the popliteal fossa, then content of the popliteal fossa. Then it will be very easy for us to find out the structure which lies in the lateral part of the popliteal fossa. So here are the options. Options are popliteal artery, popliteal vein, common peroneal nerve, tibial nerve and a small saphenous vein. So here we can see this is the popliteal fossa. It is a diamond shaped space which lies in the posterior part of the knee joint including the lower part of the thigh. So here this is the medial side and here is the lateral side. Here in the medial side we can see here the boundary it is the semi membranous membranous muscles in the upper foot and medial head of the gastrocnemius muscle in the lower foot. On the other hand we can see in the lateral part of the popliteal fossa here in the upper part we can see the biceps femoris and plantaris and the plantaris it lies both in the upper and lower foot especially in the lower foot and gastrocnemius lateral head of the gastrocnemius so these are the boundaries of a popliteal fossa in the medially semi membranous and gastrocnemius muscle and laterally biceps femoris plantaris and gastrocnemius lateral head then in this picture here we can see this is the medial part and it is the lateral part of the popliteal fossa and in the popliteal fossa we can see the different content here here we can see the two nerve is passing very closely in the lateral part there is the common peroneal nerve and relative to medial this nerve is tibial nerve and the tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve they are derived from the sciatic nerve and we also can see the popliteal vessels here that means popliteal artery and popliteal vein so in the medial part there is the popliteal vessels in the lateral part there is the nerve that is the uh, common peroneal nerve and tibial nerve so in the lateral part there is nerve present in this picture this is all very very clear picture and we can see here this is the diamond shape space and this space is the popliteal fossa and medial part here we can see this is the most medial popliteal artery then the popliteal vein and we can see in the upper part of the popliteal fossa sciatic nerve descend and it bifurcate in the two, the two part one is the tibial nerve and another one is the common peroneal nerve and this common peroneal nerve it lies most lateral part of the popliteal fossa so our final answer is the common peroneal nerve and this co common peroneal nerve lies in the most lateral aspect of the popliteal fossa thank you all